I'm good. Yeah, it, it made no sense to me. It made no sense to me. All right, let's move into the NFC South. Um, oh, what, what did you division. What did you have nine them at? 9-7. Nine nine seven. Seven. All right, yeah, and I had them 9-7 and seven as well. All right, NFC South. Wait, you said, yeah, I thought you said 10-6, and six, but it's... It yeah, no, 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 I did have 10-6. and six. You're right. No, yeah, you're fine, though. Ten you want to change, change it. It don't matter. No, 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 no. I'll stick 10-6. and six. It'll be fine. Maybe, maybe they'll finally get over the hump. Um, all right, with that said, NFC South, starting off, the Atlanta Falcons went 7-9 and nine last year. Look, started out the year 1-7, and seven, ended the year 6-2. and two. Uh, the tale of two seasons, I guess you All could right. say. Um, so I, I, let me let me jump in here. You know how I do my little chart, right? Mm-hmm. Last year I did my chart, and when I was done, I don't look at any of the teams. I don't count up any of the wins until the whole thing is done. So I don't really know who I think is good and who I think is bad until it's over. All right. And then I had the Atlanta Falcons going four and twelve, and I told you that's wrong. I threw that sheet of paper away and I redid it. I redid the whole thing because Atlanta was too far off. And then they started the season off one and seven. And I thought I shouldn't have thrown that damn paper away. (laughs) I should have went with my gut. I should have went with my instincts and I didn't go ahead. Their win total right now is seven and a half to go over is minus minus one twenty five. to go under is plus one Oh five. So they think it is more likely that Atlanta will get to eight wins. And I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Uh, to win the division, they are plus 650. Dan Quinn enters his sixth season, and this, I, I really think this is make or break year for Dan Quinn. Um, going through the stats, offensive yards per play, 5.5 yards per play was what they rolled. It was good for number 15. On defense, they gave up 5.8 yards per play. That was number 24. Uh, neither of those numbers are very good. And their turnover margin, they gave up 0.3 turnovers per game. That was number 25 in the league. Uh, Look, I mean, they brought in Todd Gurley. They brought in Hayden Hurst to replace uh, Hooper. Um, you know, it, it, we'll see if Gurley has anything left in the tank. Uh, Hurst was a backup for the Ravens and and performed pretty well when Mark Andrews went out. Uh, they are going to rely in their secondary on rookie corner A.J. Terrell because he's going to have to start immediately. And in a division where you've got Teddy Bridgewater, and, who is, you know, okay, fine, whatever. But then you got Tom Brady... And you've got um, uh, Drew Brees. That, that, that's going to be a problem because I think they're going to pick on him quite a bit. Uh, this team is too good to tank and not good enough to make the playoffs. I think they drop off a game from what they were last year. I mean, they got all the offensive talent in the world, right? But the defense is still a major problem, which is kind of crazy for a defensive coach. That's what Quinn was. Like, he was supposed to come in and revamp that defense. He hasn't done it a single time. Uh, I've got them going six and ten this year. I've got them going under that seven and a half, and and pretty significantly here. I I just I couldn't find the wins. I couldn't. I don't. It. I want good things for the city of Atlanta. I want good things for this uh, for this franchise. I just couldn't find the wins. I did my sheet. Came up with four and twelve. I'm sticking with four and twelve. So the other day we covered the NFC North. Okay. And everyone talked about how Matt Patricia, first coach fired, first coach fired. I said, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Not yet. They're going to be too good. They're going to win too many games. Then we did the AFC North. And everybody said, Adam Gates, first coach fired, first coach fired. No, no, no. The new GM that they just hired is BFF with Adam Gates. I think you got to fire both of them. They literally just hired that guy this year. I don't think they're going to do that. I think his job is safe. This guy, first coach fired. Book it. Plus 1,000. Because if he starts off 0-4 or 1-5, 1-4, something like that, like he did last year. And it's it's completely gone, possible. Yanked, and his schedule is tough. And I don't care how he starts off this year. At the end of the year, he ain't finishing like the way he finished last year. That's for damn certain. Have you got the schedule in front of you? Uh, no, but I looked at it right before he came up. I can pull it up right now. I, I know he finishes with the Chiefs, the Saints, and the Bucks as his last three games. And I'm going to tell you, that is LLL. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, it's, but the beginning of the schedule was was pretty tough. Um, yeah, I don't think I think I think they have a tough draw. I just don't remember it. You pulling it up? Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Hold on. Here we go. All right, so Atlanta's schedule to start with is the Seattle at Seahawks. Dallas. Yeah, the Seahawks. At the Cowboys, the Bears, at the Packers, Carolina, at the Vikings, the Lions, I'm at telling the Panthers. you, man, I don't yeah. see wins here. You're going to beat up on the Panthers. As we get through this, I think this is the division of the haves and the have-nots more than any other division in the league. But you're going to – outside of the Falcons and, and you know, 
I mean, outside of the Panthers and, you know, maybe the Raiders aren't great. Maybe the Chargers struggle. I don't know where you're finding wins, man. I don't either. I don't either. I mean, I I, I put them at 6-10, and 10, and I felt like that was actually kind of generous. I, thought, so, I, th- I, I think it is generous. I do. But, like I said, I, I don't know. I, they is, got a, they got a lot of offensive weapons, man. They they I know they I know they do. I know they'll be able to score. Um, of course, they weren't able to score a couple of years ago. And I'd say those offensive weapons hadn't 